Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Today I am unboxing er uh, this. <laughs> Didn't have that the right way around. It is a Canon um, adapter so that you can put your EF and EFS lenses onto an EOS R. So let's have a look inside. Some instructions as usual. Put those down. what have we got so, oh it comes in a little bag that's pretty cool so you've got a little bag there a little pouch whatever you call it and we'll open it up and here we go so probably the size of a like a 50 mil lens roughly uh, the 1.8 that's uh, what comes to mind. Uh, there we are. So let's I'll open it up on this side so you can have a look in there. And we'll do the other side too. And we've got a little switch there. Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, there's not much to it really, but I just thought I'd put it on to film in case you wanted to see what it was like. Um, it's not too heavy uh, and it obviously goes between the camera and the lens so it will give you that extra distance um, I don't know about half a finger length uh, on top of the lens so I'm going to use it with my Sigma 24 1.4 uh, I thought that I could ride out with uh, the Canon EOS R with just one lens which is the one I'm recording with now which is the 35mm 1.8 RF lens but I'm really finding it, uh, it's too cropped in. So yeah, I've decided to try this out. So hopefully in the next video, you'll see this with the 24 mil on it and we'll see um, how that performs. Uh, as far as the specs, I had a look at the website. It says that it works with all EFS and EF lenses. Um, it keeps uh, the normal autofocus and image stabilization with no, uh, apparently no lag time. Um, and it also opens up your um, scope to many lenses. I think Canon has around 70 different lenses ranging from, I think, 8mm to 800mm. So uh, a lot more lenses that in the RF range at this stage. So yeah, it's a good adapter. I think it's a, a worthwhile investment. Uh, these come in three different types. This is uh, just the simple um, adapter with nothing on it. You can get one like this with the extra control ring that allows you to control aperture or ISO or shutter, shutter speed um, just with another uh, circle there. And there's also another one which I think is like this one without the control ring but with a drop-in filter. So it becomes sort of like a film camera where you're dropping filters in rather than screwing them onto the front of the lens. But that one is dearer and I think this one was the best sort of for what I wanted. Uh, I've tried the control ring uh, which comes with the RF35 and I like it, but I don't use it that much, although it is quite handy. I've just wanted to just go with a simple one and just see if the 24 mil is what I'm after, given that it will give me some extra weight and some extra length, um, or whether I go down a different route with the lenses. I'm not sure. It's a, it's a never ending sort of um, game to try and find the perfect lens and the perfect camera, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's it from me for this one. Uh, so if you have any questions, just jot them down, down in the comments and um, yeah, give a thumbs up or subscribe if you want to see more from me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.